Gettle Stadium Toyota presents the 2024 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XLE Premium and Magnetic Gray Metallic. I'm gonna go over the different trims and options in which you can get with your hybrid RAV4. Starting in the fascia, it's gonna have standard LED headlights. This gets premium projected LED headlights and daytime runnings with LED fog lights with front parking sensors that integrate into the matte black for the grill and the lower is going to have all matte black surrounding it. So it's gonna be more of the durable material and going into the XSE and the SE, it'll have more of a sporty style with the gloss black elements. All hybrids will be paired with the same engine option, a 2.5 liter four cylinder producing 219 horsepower combined with 163 pound-feet of torque paired to an eCVT transmission, achieving 40 mpgs for the city, 38 mpgs for the highway. Standard wheels are 17 inch for the LE hybrid. XLE and premium get an 18 inch wheel and the same thing when you're going into the XSE or the SE and even the limited trim except they will receive gloss black alloy wheels. Matte black will surround the fenders, the lower skirt with with the mud flaps, with a McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. The only trim that will option a sport tune suspension is the XSE and the SE. Chrome will be surrounding the top part of the window housing. The side view mirror gets the same color key with the integrated turn signals and the lower skirt bulges out so it gives more of a sporty cue. Towing up to 1,750 pounds, payload of 1,230 pounds. All hybrid trims receive LED taillights and the magnetic gray metallic will integrate into the taillight assembly. The lower is going to be a little bit more subtle with a reverse camera and reverse parking sensors and Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 pre-collision. Power liftgate is an option on the XLE and we have the upgraded 11 speaker JBL sound system which also gives you a 10.5 infotainment screen, 12 volt LED interior lights, you get a little storage nook underneath the floor, gets a spare tire and split fold the rear bench if you're tall like me. At a 40-60 split this is going to max cargo to nearly 70 cubic feet of storage. Standard seats is cloth with six-way manual adjustment. The premium gets soft tech seats. We have the weather package giving us leather seats, 10-way power seat adjustment that starts on the XLE. And it also gives us the rain sensing wipers for that weather package. Headroom and leg room. The XLE Premium is going to start off with the upgraded JBL sound system. 11 speakers are going to be found throughout the interior of the vehicle. We also have the 10.5 information display that comes with that package with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. Put it into reverse and we have trajectory that will expand and you can change to make it a little bit bigger. Dual climate control settings is standard. Heated seats because of the weather package. Wireless charging pad is an upgrade and an option. XLE, 12 volt, USB, leather around the shifter. You have the satin aluminum and the driver mode select in the seven inch gauge cluster that can go through an array of information for the driver. 12.3 is an option on the XSE. The steering wheel is going to be multi-function. We get a storage nook for the driver and a large storage pocket for the passenger and the key fob for the RAV4 XLE Premium Hybrid. It's gonna be soft to touch, opens up into a deep storage pocket. A total of five USB ports is found throughout the cabin that starts on the XLE standard for the LE Hybrid is going to be three. Non auto dimming rear view mirror with a moon roof. Door panel configures it to the dashboard and we get memory seats to start off soft where it needs to be one touch up and down for the windows with a medium sized storage pocket and a beverage holder carved out. Headroom and leg room. Storage behind the driver's seat, air vents, USB ports. The Woodlands Edition Hybrid will have a home plug. It's the only trim that gets it. Cup holders with an armrest. The door is going to be the same materials found in the front, so only where it needs to be soft. 
with a smaller storage pocket that you could fit an umbrella or a flask. Sliding into the center, the floor isn't completely flat. You'll be sharing some feet space, leg, butt, and shoulder space because of the way the seats contour. But headroom, if you're around six foot or a little taller, you're not gonna have any issue. 219 horsepower combined, over eight inches of clearance. Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 pre-collision. It's a hybrid, so you're getting 41 MPGs for the city, 38 MPGs for the highway. It's a quiet ride. When you mash the pedal, you'll start hearing. But even with these 18 inch wheels, it's still a comfortable ride. Seats are comfortable. The steering has a little bit of weight to it. It doesn't feel very wide in the lanes, nor long. So getting in and out is not going to be a problem. I like that we have the options, which we have the wireless charging pad, and you have a total of five USB ports that's throughout the interior of the cabin. A lot of room in the footwell area too. So if you need to stretch out for a taller person, you're going to be fine with that on a longer journey of maybe 30 or 60 miles. And even if you go longer, you can rest your legs on the sides, either the door panel or the middle. I wish there was a full pass-through, but storage itself isn't bad. They take care of you because in the dashboard, you still have a little sleeve for the driver and a longer storage pocket for the passenger. I like this a little bit more so than the Corolla Cross Hybrid, only because you're getting a little bit more leg room. You also get more towing and payload capabilities and you sit up a little bit higher because the clearance is a touch better. Standard seven inch digital reader, so it is a little bit more tech driven, especially with the 10.5 inch, and we have the upgraded JBL sound system, which I like that upgrade because the standard six speakers, it's good, but you're not gonna be receiving the larger screen either. It's gonna be standard at an eight inch. dual climate control settings so the passenger can tailor it to their liking for that longer drive and we got heated front seats with a heated steering wheel so you're taken care of in a cool environment braking on the vehicle to more or less go through the windscreen if you need the turn radius is about two and a part lane let's rock and roll thank you for watching and don't forget to stop by Gettle Stadium Toyota to check out their new and pre-owned selection